So just nice and easy, right side to side. Stretch them out. Those legs a little bit. You could do kind of those circling motions if you want to. I think the circles feel good. That's my new favorite, right? I'm going to get my watch started before the workout starts because you don't want me to make up time in my head. Then you can hug your right knee to your chest, left leg is out straight, and we're just nice and easy. Going to go side to side there. So nice and slow. If your body wants to move slow today, that's fine. Do it. And if you want to have one foot down on the ground, that's perfectly okay too. And you're just kind of stretching out, pointing those toes, kind of waking up the core a little bit, thinking of keeping it down to, to the mat. We're going to go one more to each leg. And then you're going to have your right leg up straight, left leg out straight, and we're going to go side to side there. So on this, again, if you want to go slower, you can. If you want to have the foot you're not pulling to your chest or pulling towards you on the ground, that's fine too. Kind of go whatever feels good to you this morning. Listen to your body. You're still warming up, so there's no point in doing anything too crazy, right? And Joey joined us for the workout today. I don't know if you can see a little white blob in the corner. He's there. He's snoozing. And we'll just hope the doorbell doesn't ring. Otherwise, you'll know he's in the room. So you're going to go one more to each leg. And we're going to relax our legs down. And we're just doing nice, slow bridges. So nice big inhale in. Exhale, we're going to press up, squeeze those glutes. Nice and easy coming back. So every time we're pressing up, really think of squeezing your glutes. Coming back. Use that exhale to help you press up, stretch out that back a little bit, and come down, right? Yeah. And remember, you can just move slow still, right? Today is going to be all about kind of control and moving slow. Everything's for time. Just because you move slow doesn't mean it's an easy workout, though. <laughs> Don't be thinking that. So on your next bridge, you're going to press up and hold, and we're going to do our tiptoes, right? We haven't done this in a while. So just going up and down on those tiptoes. You don't have to go fast again. I'll say that like a thousand times to you today. And just kind of squeezing up those calves, stretching out those ankles. And in about five seconds, we're going to stay on our tiptoes and we're going to bridge up and down there. So staying up on your tiptoes, hips are going to come up and back, right? So making sure that you're up on your tiptoes as high as you can. You're still exhale, pushing up, squeezing. If you want to come down all the way to the mat, you could. You don't have to. It's really up to you. And in about 10 seconds, we're gonna hold. So just nice and easy, focusing on the squeeze. Your next bridge press up, hold. So trying to stay up on those tiptoes, trying to squeeze those glutes, and you're breathing. And that's easy to do, isn't it? All you have to do is breathe right now. Easy. And we got about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna do some core work. So you got five, four, three, two, and one, relax it all down. Hands are gonna come behind your head, keep those elbows wide. Exhale, we're gonna lift up. Inhale, coming back. So of course on this, you're keeping your neck relaxed. You're just letting your head rest into those hands and try not to pull on your neck, right? I know it's hard not to be tense and tight in your neck, but try to just really relax your head into your hands as you crunch up and it should help, right? And every time we're lifting up, you should feel that back touch the ground, right? So you'll inhale, exhale up, touch, and back. So slow and controlled on these. Try to get those shoulder blades all the way up off the floor, right? And if your abs shake, bonus, my abs shake on this all the time. So on your next motion, you're gonna crunch, we're gonna hold. You're just gonna inhale, bring your right leg towards you, exhale, it comes down. So you're holding in that crunch to help you keep that back down. You wanna keep your leg, kind of bent in a 90 degree angle that whole time. Okay, if your neck was really hurting, you could have your head down as long as you focus on bracing that lower back. So we're gonna do two more here. Here's one, here's two. Right leg comes down, same thing on that left side. So if you can, try to see if you can lift up just a little bit higher up in that crunch, right? Just to wake up that core even more. Because your core's gonna want that. It's gonna be like, oh yeah, make our abs scream today. Okay, we got three more. Here's one. Here is two. Here is three. Relaxing on down. Now we're gonna do a single leg crunch. So we're gonna cross our right foot over our left knee and we're just gonna press up and down there. So exhale, we'll push up. Inhale, coming back. If a single leg bridge doesn't feel good to your back, 
that's okay. You could have both feet down on the ground and still bridge up and down, okay? So you gotta do what feels good to you, right? As long as you're doing bridges, I don't care, okay? If we're just warming you up. Single leg bridge just kind of spices things up for you. Okay, we got 10 seconds, right? And it feels good. Same thing, you're still exhale pushing up, inhale coming back. So now we're gonna press up, you're gonna do a pulsing motion. So just coming halfway down, back up. Doesn't have to be fast, it's just a half bridge. Mini bridges, right? Like a, a mini bridge that goes over a creek. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good joke. So try not to let those hips come all the way down. You have five seconds until we just hold. So we got three, two, one, press up and hold. You can keep that right leg where it's at. Just kind of let it relax. You could even do little ankle circles if you wanted to, right? And we're still holding our bridge. We have 10 seconds. And then we're gonna switch sides. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. So right legs down, left legs over. Exhale up, inhale down. Okay. So you get to come all the way down on these, right? We're not pulsing yet. Taking your time. You want to try to go as large a range of motion as you can. Right? Mm -hmm. A little R O M, range of motion. I'm just gonna use abbreviations the whole class. See if you can figure out what I'm saying. But sometimes abbreviations are hard because you have to know the right letter, you know? It doesn't seem like that'd be hard, but you have to think pretty hard. Uh-huh. Okay. So next one we're up, we're doing our half bridges, right? So half down and up. Down and up. So there's a lot of control in this move. Again, if you wanted both feet down and do the pulse like this, that's perfectly okay. It's still going to challenge you. It's still going to warm you up. Right? I won't let you off easy. I promise. So in about five seconds, we're going to hold this bridge. So we got three, two, one. You're up and holding. Remember that left leg gets to stay put. You could even do some ankle rotations if you wanted to. If you can multitask that, it takes a little bit of concentration. So we got five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to relax on down and you're going to go to your side. I don't care which one. Pick a side and side. So we're starting with our top leg. Top leg is just going to kick up and down. Trying to hold on to that posture, right? We're keeping our leg as straight as we can, right? And it feels good. This is little classics. Everybody likes a good classic move. And I've got 15 seconds and then we're going to kick forward. Easy peasy stuff today. <laughs> it's always scary if you have no equipment because you got to use your body the whole time. And that's hard. Body weight stuff is tough. So we got two more. Here's one. Here's two. We're going to kick forward and then come back. Forward and back. So as you kick forward, try to keep that core as tight as you can. Right? Mm -hmm. And your goal is to not let that body move too much. It might move a little bit, but our goal is to not move too much. Right? Mm -hmm. And then in 10 seconds, we're going to do a combo. So we're just going to combine these two moves. Fancy top combos. You got five seconds. We're gonna do two more. Here is one. Here is two. So now we're gonna combo. We're kicking up, kicking forward, kicking up, kicking forward, right? Oh yeah, you could do this one all day. You know what they say on rainy days, the more you sweat, the less it rains. So we better get in gear. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie, so I'll sweat a little more and the sun will come out. So you're welcome in advance. Okay, we got about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna switch sides, right? We got 15, no, I said about 10. I can't tell time, maybe. That's probably pretty true, though. We got five seconds. So we're gonna go one more each way. Here is one, one, relax, other side. Right, so just flip on once you're flipped. Go ahead, you can start that top leg, you can up and back. So just trying to stay nice and tall, holding that core in place. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed the best you can today. Right, just take a relaxed day. No, 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 you'll be relaxed after today's workout, I promise. You'll probably be like, oh my gosh, that was amazing. I feel so refreshed. Good thing I woke up and did Pilates. All right, kick them forward and that core is tight. Remember, try not to let that body rock and roll too much. You've got to keep that core tight to control that leg. 
right? Control, control, control. Mm -hmm. So we're almost there. Got about 10 seconds until we combo. I actually forgot I had my hoodie on until I just realized. So, you know, might as well just keep it on for the whole workout. See if I do get sweatier. So one more and we combo. So we're up and then we're forward. We're up and then we're forward. We are up and forward, right? This side's burning already. Isn't it kind of crazy when you switch sides? It burns a little bit faster. I always think it does. And you're thinking like, why is this side burning so quickly? I don't know, I'm not sure the science behind that. It's probably just because your brain knows that it burns. Okay, we got 15 seconds. You're doing a great job. Staying nice and controlled. 10 seconds to go. Right? Mm -hmm. You got five seconds. We're going to go about one more each way. So we'll come up. We'll come forward. You're going to relax. We're going to go back to our back. And we're going to do a little bit of core bracing before we get started. So you're going to be on your back. You have the option here. You can have both legs in tabletop. Or if you feel like you need to help out your back a little bit, You'll have one foot down, one foot up. So as you have those feet up, make sure your back is flat to the mat. You're gonna inhale in, exhale, we're gonna kick our legs up as straight as you can, point your toes, squeeze, you'll hold for about a second, inhale, coming back, okay? So go ahead and go into that motion. So it doesn't matter if you're doing one leg at a time, right? Just focus on keeping that back down the whole time and you're trying to stretch out those legs, right? You're trying to get them as straight as possible. If you have a slight bend in your knees, that's okay. It means you're human, right? Hamstrings are tight on this one. That's why we're doing it. So using that exhale to help power into that move. Inhale, coming back. If you're doing one leg at a time, you could go ahead and switch. If you're doing both like me, you just keep on cooking. Okay, focusing on that core. You could even put your hands on your abs and feel them kick into gear. Especially when you exhale, you'll be like, whoa, muscles. So we got five seconds here. So on your next motion, we're gonna keep either your leg or legs up, and you're just gonna do a slow and controlled crunch here. So exhale up, inhale back. So even if you had both feet up earlier and you feel like you need one down to help that back, that's okay, right? This is a pretty challenging move, but it's gonna lead us right into the workout and it's gonna be perfect, okay? So exhale up, inhale back. Remember, elbows are wide. You've got five seconds here, you got three, here is two, here is one, you can relax. So if you wanted a quick, excuse me, sip of water, go ahead and you can grab it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do kind of a plank type motion, a superman motion, an oblique, and then a bridge. So we got four moves, I think that's four. Yeah, I can count four, I promise. So our first move you're gonna do if you can, you're gonna be on your hands and your toes, your knees would hover and you would kick out to the side, out to the side. If you modify, your knees are gonna be down, you wanna drop those hips, you still would kick out to the side, kick out to the side, okay? That's our first move, that's all you gotta know. Ready? And go. So you'd be up, you would kick, come back, kick, right? So this is slow and controlled. When your leg comes wide, you wanna try not to let your body move. Okay, and if you're modifying, remember, you've got those knees down, you'll still kick wide, come back, wide, come back. So this is gonna take a lot of core control. It's gonna work your obliques, your glutes, your legs, and even your posture. How fun is that? Right, I'm gonna be able to see my watch. Mm -hmm. So we got about 20 seconds here. Nice and slow and controlled. Okay, we got 15 seconds. I think I might have told time now. Right, I could just add another minute. You guys won't mind, probably. You're doing a great job. 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Exhale, that leg kicks out. Inhale, it's in. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now you're going to come to your stomach. We're going to get set up for our Superman, and you're going to do it with rocket arms. So arms start out front. You're going to lift up. Bring those arms behind you, lift as high as you can, and then come back, okay? So you're gonna pull back, lift, palms are up, and back, right? Go ahead and go. So it's almost like you're skydiving through the air, you're lifting up, coming back. You're pulling back, lifting, skydive, 
coming back. So try to lift up as high as you can. You get to relax in between every single rep here. And in about 15 seconds, we're gonna hold and add a pulse. Okay, so your goal is to try to get your hands as close to your thighs as you can. So on your next one, you're gonna lift and hold. You want your palms up, you're acting like you're gonna touch your thumbs together. So you're pulsing your arms. Your arms are straight, you're going pulse, 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 pulse. Acting like you're gonna touch those thumbs. Keep your chest up, keep your feet up. Stay lifted tall. We got 15 seconds to go. Keep on breathing, stay lifted, pulse, 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 pulse. You've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax and you're gonna go to your side. So let's go right side first. So you're gonna have your right arm out straight directly from your shoulder. You're gonna roll back to that right hip a little bit. We're just gonna lift up one leg, crunch, and come back. Okay, so we'll do one side at a time. You're just lifting and crunching. So make sure you use your right arm to help you lift up. So you'll bend that elbow to help you lift. Your goal is to try to get your elbow as close to your knee as you can, okay? And we're only using one leg, don't worry about both. If you really wanna do both, you can, but we're just getting started, so don't be getting too crazy. Okay, you done a great job. You're almost there, we got about 15 seconds until we switch sides, okay? So use that arm to help you lift. Leg is as straight as possible. You've got five, here's four, here's three, here is two, here is one. So we're gonna switch sides, you're on your left side. Left arm is out straight, you're using the arm to help you lift and reach. So lift it up and back. So try and get as close as you can to that knee. Right? If it hurts to be on your hip, roll back a little bit so you're more on your glute and it'll help you roll, okay? Every time you lift up, you're kind of bending your elbow and pushing that elbow into the floor, right? So let that arm help you because that's what's gonna get you up high. Mm -hmm. Doing a great job. Keep on little lifting. You got 15 seconds and then we're gonna go to our back for a bridge move, okay? You got 10 seconds here, All right? You're rocking and rolling. You got five, four, here's three, two, and one. Okay, so you're gonna go to your back. We're gonna go heels down, toes up. You're gonna be in a bridge the whole time. You're just gonna alternate tapping out one leg and then the other. Ready? Here we go. So heel tap, heel tap. So your goal is to stand nice and tall. You're trying to extend that leg as much as you can. So if you do a smaller motion, that's okay, right? Do whatever you feel like you can control, right? And if it hurts that back to even move, you could go heels down, toes up, and just do a regular bridge driving through those heels, right? But our goal is to have heels down, toes up, just so it works that body a little bit more. And you got 30 seconds until we go into our next set. So keep on moving along here. Oh yes, this is a good time. Going side to side. Again, remember this is not fast. You wanna be able to control your legs. That's the hard part of it, okay? We're almost there, you got 10 seconds. Going side to side. You got five, four, three, two, and one. And you're gonna relax. Then we're gonna go back to a plank position. This time you're gonna do a pike up reach. So you have got your hands and toes down. You would pike up, reach as far across as you can. Hand comes down, you come back and you repeat, okay? So if you were to modify, you would have your knees down, start in your plank, you would come back, reach forward, reach, okay? Uh-huh. Ready? So your goal is to reach back as far as you can. I'm gonna try to reach for my feet, anywhere, shins, knees, hips, whatever you want. Ready? And go, so you're in a plank, you pike way up, reach across, hand comes down, you come back. Pike, reach, back, down. Pike, reach, back, down. 
So again, go at a pace that feels good to you. If being on your hands felt like too much, you could do your elbows. You just won't be able to pick your hand up and reach across. You could just do the pipe up, okay? Or you can do the modified, right? And the modified again, you have your knees down, you come back, reach, and back. Okay, so keep on cooking. We still have 30 seconds here, right? So maintain your rhythm. Each time you reach, see if you can reach a little bit further. My foot got stuck on my mat there. Okay, we got 15 seconds. You're doing a great job. You have 10 seconds. Side to side. Five. Here's four. Here's three. Here is two. Here is one. And you're gonna relax. You're gonna go to your side. We're gonna be on our left side here. So we're going back to an oblique move. This time you're gonna bend your knee. So you're gonna lift. Your right knee will bend in and come back. Okay, so pushing up off that left arm, you're bending in and back. So use that left arm the best that you can to help you lift up. Your goal is to get that elbow as close to that knee as you can. And that doesn't mean you have to touch it. If you do touch it, perfect. If you don't, that's okay. It's all right. Right, we're almost there. Lifting and crunching. You're doing a great job. Keep maintaining your rhythm. Remember, it's not fast. You're just trying to control and keep moving. You have 15 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Yeah. Right, keep on rolling. I think I skipped our Superman move. Uh-oh. I guess we'll do that after this. 10 seconds. We got five. Here is four. Here is three. Here's two, here's one, we're gonna switch sides. So we're on the right side, arm is out. Same thing, you lift, bend, and kick, okay? Go for it, yeah. So lift it in a crunch. Remember, use that right arm. It's like you're bending that elbow into the floor and back, right? Kind of act, you can act like that right arm is doing a bicep curl, and that'll teach you to use that arm and help you lift up, right? It's there for a reason. Might as well use it. And if you're right-handed, your body's gonna be like, oh, thanks for letting us help out. That left side, it's just kind of weak. Right, that's what my right side says. Okay, you're doing a great job here. We got 30 seconds. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Lifting and crunching. Okay, keep maintaining, keep lifting. You're doing a great job in 15 seconds. We're gonna do our Superman that I almost forgot about. Front row, right? 10 seconds. Keep on going. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, going to our stomach, we're gonna do a Superman, basically jumping jack. So what you're gonna do, arms and legs are gonna be somewhat together. You're gonna lift, come wide, come back, come down. Lift, wide, back, down. So your goal is to get your arms and those quads up off the floor as much as you can. Ready? So you lift, wide, come back to the middle, come down. Lift, wide, back, down. Lift, wide, back, down. Lift, wide, back, down. Lift, wide, back down and in 15 seconds you know we're gonna have to do a pulse of course okay we got 10 seconds until we start that taking your time going at your rhythm right so don't keep up with me do what you like to do so on your next one you're gonna lift you're gonna go small arm and legs wide so small jacks you stay up point your toes and control it so lift up as high as you can See if you can get your quads all the way off the floor. What? Yeah, that's possible. Okay, we got 15 seconds, and then we're going to a bridge. You're doing a great job. You've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. You're going to your back. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna start in a bridge. 
You're gonna bring one leg into tabletop, right? And we're gonna pulse for a little bit. Then you're gonna come down, we'll switch sides and pulse. So every 10 seconds, we're gonna switch legs. If you don't do a single leg, you'll just pulse with both feet down for 10 seconds and then hold and alternate that, okay? So let's get started. Up in our bridge, left leg is in tabletop. You're gonna pulse for 10 seconds. So that means our hips are not resting down. You're doing your small motion. We have five seconds until we switch to our other leg. And left leg is down, right leg is up, we pulse. So when you switch legs, try not to go down in that bridge. Keep on pressing up. You've got three, two, one, switch legs, pulsing, one. There you are. Holding on to it. If you feel like you're in a rhythm, you can go faster. Go for it. you got three, two, one, switch those legs, pulse, switch. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Trying to lift. Drive through those feet. You have five seconds until we switch. And right legs down, left legs up, switching. So we're pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. You're doing a great job. Five seconds until we finish on our left side. Three, two, one, switch those legs. 10 second pulse. And then we have our final set of the day. Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax. And we're gonna come back to a point. So for this plank, you're going to be on your arms or your elbows, and you want to have your arms stacked. It doesn't matter which one's in front. We're going to do a rotating plank. So you would start on your toes. We'll come to the side, right? We'll come back. We'll go to our other side. If you modify, same thing. You would just open here and back. So we're not going to switch quickly. You'll be holding each one. Ready? So stack those arms. And go for it. So starting in your regular plank, wrap to those knees if you need to, right? But we're just hanging tight right here. Okay, so we're gonna turn to the left. That means you're on your right elbow. And then we're gonna hold right here, right? So try to stay nice and strong. Try to breathe, try to hold. You're gonna come back to the middle. You're gonna hold right here. We got 15 seconds here. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those abs. 10 seconds until we go to the left side. Five seconds. You got three, two, one. You're turning to the right, so left arm is down. I can't see you right now, so don't be cheating. But I do have eyes in the back of my head. Okay, in five seconds, we're going back to our regular point. Three, two, one. Back to the front. Hold tight right here. We got a 30. Second, hold. Woo! Okay, squeeze, breathe. Go to those knees if you need to. As long as your hips are down, that's all that matters. You're gonna work that core like crazy. You have 15 seconds. Keep hanging on to it. You've got 10 seconds. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And we're gonna go to our side. So we're going back to our oblique move. This time, you're gonna keep, we'll be on our right side. Left leg is gonna stay bent, and you're lifting up, crunching, and back. If you can, try to have that right leg up off the ground. If not, that's okay too. Okay, go for it. So remember, use that right elbow to help you lift. We're trying to get our elbow past our knee every single time, right? And I forgot to do our Superman again. I'm losing it. I better chug some coffee after this. You're doing a great job. Hang on to it. Keep on lifting. Try to get up as high as you can. Elbow to that knee. Lucky for you, we're doing this for another 30 seconds. <laughs> Woo! Dino might, right? Dino might obliques. You're doing a great job. Hang on to that move. The good news is you only have 15 seconds left. So that's not bad. Well, no, I think I lied. I don't know. We might just be doing this for like two minutes on the side. I'm just kidding. We're almost there. You got five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch sides quickly, quickly. So on our left side, that knee stays bent. Left leg can be up, you crunch on in. So elbow to that knee, elbow to that knee. You're like, hey there, how you doing knee? Kiss your knee. I don't know if you can. I got it. 
That means I can stop. If you kiss your knee, you get to just stop and relax. That's a new rule. So taking your time, using that left arm to lift and crunch. Lift and crunch. We got 30 seconds here. You're doing an awesome job. Keep on rolling. Keep on rocking. Oh, yes. This is fantastic. You have 15 seconds. Then we got two moves left of the day. Okay, we got five. We got four. Three. Two. And one. You're going to go to your stomach. So we are going to build into a swimmer. So we're going to start. You're just going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, and lift up. One side will be down. That's all you got to know for right now. That's it. Ready? And go. So you're lifting up opposite arm, opposite leg. You're keeping your head up. You're keeping your sternum up. You're squeezing. You're lifting as high as you can. In 15 seconds, we're going to go into our swimmer move. Okay, so we're going to build into this move a lot. Try to stay lifted up. Keep those arms and legs straight. Try to move at a little bit of a quicker pace here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're up and you alternate, but you don't go down. Okay, going right into it. Lift in and stay here. If you need to do what we were just doing still, that's fine. Hang on to that, but try to keep moving. Right, we got 15 seconds. Keep on moving those arms and legs. Nice, fast arm and leg. Fast, 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 fast. Keep on moving, 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, one, relax. We got our bridge move and then we're done for the day. You're on your back. We're gonna do a bridge umbrella. So right leg's down, left leg is gonna be up. You're gonna hold your bridge. Exhale, your left leg comes wide. Inhale, it comes back. On this, if a single leg bridge feels like too much, do the core bracing version of it instead. Ready? And go. So exhale wide, inhale back. As that leg goes wide, don't let your body move, right? Focus on the core, focus on the control of it. You're doing a great job, and you're almost done for the day. So that's good, right? Yes, it is. You have 20 seconds, and then we're gonna go right into the other side, no break. Okay, you're almost there, 15. Hang on to it, you're still breathing. 10 seconds, you've got five seconds. Do two more here, here's one, two, switch those legs. Left legs down, right legs up, wide and back. Wide and back. Control that leg, control with the core. You're doing a great job, exhale wide, inhale back. If you're modifying, remember your hips are down, you're bracing that core like crazy, and you're still doing that movement, right? So your hips don't have to be up if it hurts your back. If it hurts your abs, I don't care, or your hamstrings. You're almost there, we got 15 seconds. Keep breathing with the movement. You got 10 seconds. Windshield wipers, because it's rainy, we gotta do these. You got five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. And there you are, you are all done for the day. Great job. That wasn't so bad. No, heck no. You could probably even repeat it.